Hello and welcome to this episode of Talk About It Tuesday. I am your host, Keith Edenfield. Today I want to talk about a snake in your grill. I also want to talk about how you should or uh, should not smoke a brisket. We also have a few jokes to share with you and a little bit of singing. You do not want to miss this episode and we'll kick it off after these words from Snickers. Marsha, what happened? Peter hit me in the nose with a football. I can't go to the dance like this. Well, I'm sure it was an accident, sweetheart. An eye for an eye. That's what Dad always says. I never said that, honey. Shut up! <laughs> Time to teach Peter a lesson. Marsha, eat a Snickers. Why? You get a little hostile when you're hungry. Better? Better. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Jan, this isn't about you. <laughs> it never is. If you're an avid griller, or even if you know an avid griller, you know the different methods of using charcoal. The first one being the direct method, which is when charcoal is completely covering uh, the grill, the bottom. The second is uh, indirect, when your uh, charcoal is at one end and your meat is at the other end. The, the next method is the snake method, which is when your briquettes are lined up end to end to end, circling the grill as we see here. But that is not the snake that I want to talk about today, although this method is important. The snake I want to talk about today is this snake. Before you use your grill for the first time at the beginning of the season and every single time you use your grill, open it up. Inspect the inside of your grill. Now, while I have not found a snake in my grill, I have found wasps, dirt daubers, bird nests with and without eggs in it. So what I want to talk about today is inspecting your grill. Let's make sure that the grill is properly cleaned and that nothing is in it that should not be in it. That way we're all safe. Coming up next is a song from the iconic Ray Stevens. You do not want to miss this. After these words from RC Cola. If you could taste America, what would it be like? RC Cola, American taste since 1905. We had a camera crew in the Nashville, Tennessee area, and they heard that Ray Stevens was performing in the cabaret showroom so they made their way there and uh they were able to watch him perform live uh, watch with me as ray performs the barbecue song there was a fella named attila the hunt a bad news dude he was strictly no fun yeah it burned down every town from rome to cat man do Till someone finally said, hey, man, what's wrong with you? He said, uh, there's just some, something I've been looking for. Oh, something I can't get enough of anymore. I want some barbecue, some barbecue. And when I want it, nothing else will do. Woke up this morning at a quarter to two. Just had to have some barbecue. I'm gonna pillage, gonna plunder, gonna throw myself a fit Till I get a little something from a hickory fit I want some cold slaw, french fries, pickle it too And a big old mess of fly barbecue I want a big old mess of barbecue Oh, Leroy Parnell, ladies and gentlemen can come from Kansas City, Kansas City, Alabama, or the Georgia State, Tennessee, or Carolina, honey, I don't really mind, just as long as you pile it high on my plate, I want some barbecue, barbecue, and when I want it, nothing else will do. 
woke up in a cold sweat. Quarter to two, rolled over, said, Honey, I got a half saw. Oh, you can slice it, you can chop it, you can gnaw it off the rib. At a time like this, Lord have mercy, what I would give for some cold slaw, French fries, a pickle to two, and a big old mess of barbecue. This morning I rolled over and I said, baby, honey, you know I got the house and barbecue. I mean, you can run on that, put on that old bad robe and them fluffy slippers and run on out there to shorties all night hog heaven and bring me some inside lean, yeah, with the slaw dripping off your elbows. Oh, you know I got the house. I want a big old mess of barbecue. Yeah. You know, all of a sudden, I got a craving for a big old mess of barbecue with slaw running down my elbows. This next story is about someone who was having a craving for a big old mess of brisket. Although she did not have a pit, that didn't stop her. Living on the third floor of an apartment complex did not stop her from smoking herself some brisket. You see, she took her wood and placed it in her bathtub in the apartment. She took a wire rack and laid it across the edges of this bathtub, put the meat on the rack, and proceeded to smoke herself some brisket right there in her bathtub in her bathroom in her third floor apartment and everything was going smooth it was all great until smoke started pouring out of her apartment window and doors and the neighbors got concerned and called the fire department. The firefighters came in, turned on the shower head, doused out the fire, thus putting an end to the smoked brisket. Good thing is, and a happy ending to this story is, there were no uh, casualties to this story. The only damage was uh, the bathtub did melt. It was fiberglass bath bathtub. It, it did melt. And the, the floor beneath the bathtub, it was damaged from the fire and the water. And the downstairs neighbor's apartment did receive some water damage uh, from the, the water from the shower head seeping through the floor as the firefighters put out uh, this pit, if you were to call it a pit. So let's talk about it. If you have a craving for some barbecue, for a hamburger or a hot dog, do not improvise like this lady did. I suggest that you go to your local restaurant and purchase it from someone who is um, properly equipped to cook uh, pulled pork, brisket, chicken, ribs, burgers, dogs, whatever the case may be. Do not, and I reiterate, do not cook a brisket Boston butt, do not cook in your bathtub. Coming up next, I've got a couple of jokes to share with you before we close out this episode. But before we do, these words. Take a cassette out of its case, and most people just see an empty box. But Sony saw something quite different.
Sony introduces the only cassette player as small as a cassette case. The incredible sounding Super Walkman. It's not often that I have a guest here on the stage with me. Today, Nathaniel Skoll has stopped by to say hey. So um, since he's here, I want to share with you and with Nathaniel a couple jokes. Nathaniel, my dad, your papa, just bought a, a new grill, and it's a tall grill. I'm really afraid that my dad is going to hurt himself using this tall grill. Why is he going to get hurt? Because the stakes have never been higher. <laughs> okay, I got a co-worker uh, that told me that his girlfriend is a lot like his grill. So how is your co-worker's grill like his girlfriend? Well, here's what he told me. He said that they are both smoking hot and they both just burnt down his house. Well, I think I'm going to stick to uh, and grilling and smoking and let someone else tell the jokes. Until our next episode of Talk About It Tuesday, we will see you later.